Hey guys, welcome to another episode of Built on AWS series. In this mini project, we'll be building a conversational chatbot. And our chatbot can get weather information from a third party service and return it back to the user at request. So after that, we will integrate that chatbot into an Angular application. Now, there are a lot to do. So this will well be another multi-part video series. Right. Some of you guys might wonder why would we even need a conversational chatbot in the first place? Well, in modern web application, user experience is one of the most important thing I would say. Let's say that you have a website with really great services, but your users are rather non-technical users. So they find it really difficult to use those complex interfaces to get your services. Or maybe your, your users cannot use mouse or touchpad due to their activities that they are involved in. For example, there could be drivers who's using your application and they find it really difficult to use mouse or touchpad, I believe. So in those cases, wouldn't it be nice to have a different interface where your users can use natural language or their common day-to-day -day speaking language to consume your services? So that would be really a handy thing so that's where a conversational chatbot comes into the play. Since you guys have been staring at the diagram for a while, so let's quickly go through it. So we are going to create a conversational chatbot using Amazon Lex. So our chatbot will return weather information when a user asks for it. For example, our users might say, get me weather in London today, right? So that particular occurrence will be received by Amazon Lex. And it will check if that utterance matches with the defined intent in Amazon Lex. And if so, it will trigger a Lambda function, which will call a third party API and return it back to the user a relevant weather information. Now remember those terms, utterances, users utterances and Lex matches if utterances to an intent. If it is matching, it will call a Lambda function to talk to a third party API to fulfill his request. So those terms will get into that in more details when we do the demo right about now. Okay, now let's go into the AWS console and find AWS Lex. I will go to services and let me type Lex. Here we have. I will select it. So if you haven't created AWS Lex chatbot before, this will be the page that you'll be directed to. Select get started. So in the next page, AWS will give you some sample bots tryout. These ones. And also, I have noted that there are some terminologies that we need to be familiar with, such as intent, utterance slots, prompt, and fulfillment. So intent is particularly goal the user want to achieve. So in our case, our user's intention is to get weather information of a particular city. So what we will do is we'll create an intent called finding weather and attach some sample utterances. So if our users utter something similar to those sample utterances, it will trigger this particular intent. So let's see that in action in a bit. I will go through these other terms when building the application. But first, let's select custom bot and give it a name. I will call it weather bot. Output voice, we'll select it none because this is only a text-based application. Of course, you can attach some voice with Amazon Poly. Session timeout, we'll have it as five minutes. And AWS has assigned an automatic role for us. Keep it as it is. And for COPPA, just select no, because you're not keeping any privacy information about children, right? And then click create. Okay, now first call to action button is create intent. So like I mentioned, let's create intent called finding weather. Let me say finding weather finding Nemo and click add. All right, now the next task is to define some utterances. 
Now remember that users don't have to utter exactly these phrases, but thanks to Lex natural language understanding capabilities, any similar phrases that we listed here will be matched to this intent. So since our application is getting some weather of a particular city, a user might ask, tell me about the weather today. And I will add that. So you can add other utterances as well. Okay, now in order to fetch weather, we need some required information, such as the city. From the user, we haven't yet received it. So in order to receive that, we need to prompt user to tell the city name. So that's why the slots are here. So in the slots, we have this prompt. So let's give it a prompt called, I will say, sure, which city? So when the user answers this, for example, if he can say London, so that information, we will save it in a variable called city. And this variable is type of a city. So our Lex bot will find it easy to match those city names. So we'll give it a name or rather a city type, slot type as mm, Amazon. Great Britain city. Okay, let's add it now. Okay, great. So now when the user say, tell me about the weather today, our bot will reply, sure, which city? Then he will respond it back with the city's name and he will have that city name stored in a variable called city. Now there could be situation the user will directly give the city name when they are asking the question. For example, he might say, how is the weather in London? Or else it could be any city. So in, in order to define any city, we can simply replace our variable name here. And when we add this, you can see it has highlighted city. So it will match the slot value with whatever the variable city name that the user is asking for. So now that we have the city, the bot will not ask this question because it already has got the city name from the question itself. So let's add another utterance. Let's say, what is the weather hmm, like in the yeah, city name? So this is another way the user can ask for weather information. All right, so first two cases, the second prompt will not be asked. For the third utterance where the city name is not defined, the bot will ask this question and get the city name and store it into the slot. Great, now we have everything we needed to get in with the information from the user's end. Now we need to hook up a Lambda so that our Lambda can fetch data from the Open Weather Map API and send it back to the user as a response. But in this part, we are not going to create a Lambda. We'll do it in the next part. We need to test this bot right now. So in order to test that, we'll add a mock message. So instead of setting the fulfillment as AWS Lambda function, I will set it as return parameters to users. And then in the response block, I will add a message and I will say temperature in whatever the city name that they have given is let's say 25 degrees Celsius and humidity level is 55%. All right, so let's add that and afterwards save the intent. Nice. Then we have to test it. Now AWS Lex dashboard itself, we can do the testing part. We don't have to attach it to a website. So in order to test that on the console, we can first build the bot. So when building it, AWS Lex will train our bot to answer for these questions. We'll give it a second to build it. And afterwards we can test that. Okay, now it is successfully built. If I close this message, you will see 
the right side panel is open. So I can check with my bot. So let's say, tell me about weather today. You see, since I have not specified the city, it will ask me the prompt. Which city? I will say London. Yeah, so it captures the city name into a city variable. So if you look at the uh, slot section, you will see it has filled the city variable with the name London. And then it has written my final response, the message. Temperature in London is 25 degree and humidity is 55%. So this is a mock message. So in the next episode, we will hook this up to a Lambda and actually call Open Weather Map API and get this relevant information. Okay, I will see you on the next episode. Thanks.